All right, guys, we're ready for some triangles here. Okay, so first we've got uh, three different uh, types of triangles, and you just need to be familiar with each of these real quickly, right? And so the three different types are uh, right triangle, uh, equilateral, equilateral, and isosceles. Okay, so this first one we have here, this one's a right triangle. So you see that little square inside of the uh, triangle? Okay, that little square signifies a little square right here. Oops, a little square right there is that signifies a ninety degree angle, right? And so anytime you see that little square, then you know you got a right triangle. Okay, and on the second one, so you see, like we have these uh these two little lines. There's one here, and there's one here. Right, and then you have these little things down here. Right, you got another one over here. Okay, so these things, when you see these those lines that are going through a triangle, draw it again. Right, when you see that and that, that means these two sides are equal. When you see this and this, it means these two angles are equal. Okay, and so when you have for isosceles, which is what this is. A name to say. We're just going to say ISOS on this one. For an isosceles triangle, you have two equal angles, and then you also have two equal sides. Okay, and then down at the bottom one, that one looks kind of like a mess, right? But then you have this and this, but then you also have one more here, right? And then you have all, so that means we have all three sides are equal. They all equal the same amount. And all three angles are equal. And that's called equilateral. Right? And that one's kind of easier to remember. Now it's spelled weird is equal, equilateral, kind of meaning like equal. Or isosceles maybe is a little bit harder to remember. So you got that right triangle with a little square inside the triangle representing 90 degrees. Equilateral, all three sides, all three angles are equal. Isosceles two sides, two angles are equal. All right, so that's the uh, triangle stuff and you just gotta know that. Not too hard to memorize those though. Okay. Now, we got two formulas to know. You can see the first one right here. Area equals one half base times height. Okay. So what if we say uh, we got 10 here. Got like 5 here. On the sides we'll say they're both 7. Okay. Now the 7s I just threw in there just to see if I could trick you a little bit. Uh, just to pretend okay. I'm a mean test maker, right? So we have area equals one half. The base is right here down at the bottom. So there's our 10. And then height. So height is 5. Right? That little dotted line that goes through the middle of the triangle, that's where height is. And that's 5. Okay. Then we just have to do some quick multiplication. 10 times 5 is 50. And 1 half of 50, or you could also say 50 divided by 2 if you want, is 25. That would be our answer. That's how we do those. Area equals 1 half base times height. Don't get thrown off by this stuff over here on the sides. It don't mean nothing. Okay. And one more. Okay, so the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, so that's for, uh, oh, give me my pen back. That's for uh, Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we have like, that's a, that's b, this is c. And it's only true, it's a right triangle. It's not a right triangle. 
they're not going to ask you that, right? But just so you know, uh, Pythagorean theorem, only true for a right triangle. Okay, so let's say that, and this is what's always going to happen is they're going to give us two. Two of the sides, but not the third one. We have to figure out what the third one is. Okay, so let's say they say this guy's five, this guy's 12. How much, what's the value of C? Okay, and this C, like this whole thing right here, is referred to as the hypotenuse. So they may ask you, what's the hypotenuse? All right, that just means what's C? Okay, so we got, we're just gonna plug these in, right? Five was our value for A, and then we square it, plus 12 was our value for B, square that too, equals hypotenuse, or C, squared. Okay, and we just have to plug these numbers in. So we've got five squared, so that's five times five. That's 25, last time I checked. Okay, 12 times 12 is 144. Equals, still we don't know, right? C squared, hypotenuse. Okay, 144 plus 25, that is a 169 equals C squared. And from here, all right, so we need to get rid of that square, right? So that's our friend, the square root. Gets, we'll get rid of the square. Then whatever we do on one side, we always got to do on the other. Okay, so it happens at 169, the square root of that is 13, right? The way of saying that is 13 times 13 is 169. Let's see, that's our answer, 13. Okay, so it's uh, nice to know some of these square root numbers. 169 is is getting up there, but we'd like to know, you know, like in terms of multiplication, it's a lot easier if you happen to know that like 11 times 11 is 121, 12 times 12 is 144, 13 times 13 is 169. You probably don't have to go a lot higher than that. Uh, 15 shows up a lot. 15 times 15 is 225, right? So it just those are just numbers uh, to get used to. If you don't know those, then it's just kind of uh, going through some some math flashcards essentially to just get into your mind what those numbers equal. It'll make getting through all these uh, different aspects of math uh, a lot easier.